So it's been a, a season here that, as a Yankee fan, I, I did not expect. Just doing a quick baseball video here. Uh, you know, mathematically, I get the Yankees are still in it, but, you know, they realistically have to win, like, you know, the last games here. And what, that's like 10, to even have a chance. So it's pretty much a done deal. They're, barely, I believe, two games above 500 at this point. And there are various aspects here that we could look at, you know, and, it, and it's all, it's, 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 it's team and it's a team effort, right, as to uh, why the team is the way it is. I mean, you look at uh, Aaron Judge, who gave him a ton of money, uh, was out for two months of the season. Missed, I believe, 52 games. Still, 35 home runs leads the team, but injured. And he's been injured prior, prior years. But that's not, I don't want to speak about Judge, I want to speak about Mike Stanton. Uh, Mike Stanton's another one of these contracts uh, that the Yankees are in uh, on long term now, just for, just for the sheer amount of money that they gave him. Last I checked, he was batting like 188. He had 24 home runs, like 55 RBIs, 273 uh, on base percentage, OPS of like 86 or something like that, something crazy like that. And listen. For the type of money that they're giving him, it's like, what what are we supposed to do with Stanton? Or what can Stanton do? Uh, you know, what, what you know, it's a contract, and what what he's outputting uh, doesn't it doesn't you know equate to the production. Don't get me wrong, guy is built like a like a like a Zeus, like a Greek god. In Stanton, but maybe that's the problem. Maybe we should start making these guys understand that you don't need to bench, you know, bench press like 500 pounds to play baseball. When you're as jacked up as Stanton is, right, there's no way you could be limber enough to play 150 games without getting hurt. Stanton at this point can't even run. Not that he doesn't want to, just he can't if you see him. Uh, then I think the second part here is then make him understand that the stance that he has, he couldn't even hit an outside slider with a snow shovel. And every pay pitcher knows that he can't reach. I think the part of the problem here, um, when you look at it, what, what's changed with him. And when he was with the Marlins, um, he was on his way to be a Hall of Famer. And his what happened, I think, when he was with the Marlins to now, like his change in 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 stance totally from his Marlin years and when he got in the hit in the face, it, it changed. Go look at old videos on top of the plate and getting around on the ball. what he used to do now it's just like his lower body has completely failed him you know very awkward swing now at this point like he's you know fighting against himself and they just pitch around him you know baseball is a long muscle game you know Muscle upon muscle is not needed. You know. But what can you do at this point? And it's not that he doesn't try, because he does. You know, he's always there before games stretching, signing autographs. More than any player. Uh, it's just, you know, it is, I don't know. You know, that, that's a problem. But remember, it's not just him. It's, you know, it's, it's just the whole team. 
needs maybe just a different approach as to, you know, the off season. But there's so many contracts that you can't can't really move them. <laughs>